much holding. Morris is just on behind him and they're sort of giving McNamee a little roll as well, so it's, it's working at the moment. Oh, risky ball, that one from Horgan. And now it's McGuire towards Ruben, who's strong in the air. The knockdown, Duffy. That's his shot away, but under pressure, drags it wide. Chance all come from a sloppy ball. I mean, you know, it's just a silly ball. Don't put a diagonal across the middle of the park when you're you don't know who you're passing down. But it's a half chance for Duffy on his on his left leg, and he hasn't taken it. I'm sure Messrs Delaney and Beatty would be happy with the clean sheet. I mean they would seed top spot on the table. McGrath, oh, he didn't see Cummins. Sets it there for McNamee. Barry McNamee, good strike. Hoban, you know, he he's out in the wing. He should be in the box. He's trying to cross the ball into where he should be. I think if the managers get him in a half time and they talk to him and say, look, let's get back to your positions and where you should be playing. McGrath, lovely ball inside for Huben. Here's Benson. Instead, we struck if he fancies it on his left foot. Well, plenty of venom behind it. Mark McNulty happy to wave it over his crossbar, though. That's where you want Robbie Benson. I mean, all game he's been too far back. I mean, he's come on, he's loads of space and he struck it and they can go top corner. Johan hunted down by Gartland. A challenge as well by the Dundalk skipper. He's lost out though. Sadlier to put in a cross. Here is McNamee. Well, it's set up beautifully for his left foot, but choked his effort into the ground. It's a chance, and I mean, it's the first ball from the byline that's come in. There's Cummins going down. He's had a chance there. I mean, a decent strike, and that is going to trouble Rogers, you know, and that's that's a half a chance. Here's a man Dundalk will look to, Michael Duffy. Allowed to run on the inside, he slipped in, and it in. What a start to the second half, 30 seconds, and Dundalk make the breakthrough. Christian Adorjan didn't have the greatest of first halves, but when the moment came, he took it, and Dundalk lead. It's been a great little thing inside by, by Duffy. Adorjan is running a beautiful little channel, and in fairness to him, the, the, the finish is different class. Cross. Oh, and the header. Cummins got between Gannon and Garland that time. He's not had too many opportunities like that, Graham Cummins. It's a great ball. Morrissey towards the near post. Oh, Bennett putting Rogers under real pressure. Here's Bennett again. Oh, and O'Hanlon, and it's 1 1. Onside, no flag. Josh O'Hanlon just minutes off the bench, ties it up at Oriel Park. Dundalk are furious because I think they really do think O'Hanlon's offside. He doesn't care. Great header. Shepard has missed the head. There's Alan Bennett. Flicks at the back post. No, he's onside, looks like to me, and it's a great header. Great finish. No chance. No oh, Shields has lost it to Sadlier. A great run here from Carl Shepard. He's in against Rogers. And he rattles the outside of the post. He's claiming Rogers got a touch. I just think he's first touch is first poor touch, here. Yeah. Look, it's, it's just gone away. Look, a small bit away. Yeah, Rogers just got a tiny little finger on that, and it's away. Michael Duffy over the free kick. Massey forward. Hoare, Gartland, Huben. Dylan Connolly way over on the far side of the penalty area. As Duffy puts it in. Huben attacking it. Oh, and he wasn't too far away. Great ball again. Quality ball. Strikers ball. Get your head in it, direct it, unfortunately just a bit over the top. Buckley. Hannon his only target and Hoare nips in for Dundalk, here goes Shields. Tracked by Shepard, nice ball that for Murray. Huben's on the penalty spot, here comes across Huben, oh it's gone in! Own goal from Sean McLaughlin, but Patrick Huben, the man of the match tonight, heavily involved. And Dundalk into stoppage time, looked like they might have won it. Great ball by Chris Shields, down the wing, quality ball in the box, there's Huber making a dive, and it's McLaughlin, who's just, you know, obviously been deceived by, by Huber, but there you go, he's made a menace of himself, McLaughlin can't chase, into the box, goal. And in stoppage time, it's Dundalk 2, Cork City 1. 
Asher, all I do is all I did was throw my body in front of the ball. I don't even know if I half touched it to be honest. But you know, thankfully it's gone in. Um, it was a tough game. It was tough conditions out there. You know, with the weather. So, you know, it was a massive three points, massive game, and I felt that we deserved it to be honest. Yeah, nothing is won tonight. I think we know that. Um, we've a lot of tough matches ahead. We've got uh, we've got to go to Inchicore next week against St Patrick's and. Uh, but it's a big three points you can't get away from that it is a big three points and uh, the players uh, deserve it I felt overall you know they were terrific no, we can see straight after half time which was criminal but um, we made a few changes and fresh things up and at the end of the day we got back to one all with the chance in the game to win the match with the post with Carroll and, um, and just in the last five or six minutes we backed off we thought maybe the, the last goal that he was offside when we see the ball, maybe maybe not. But um, yeah, disappointing. But you know, it was certainly a game at one all. We could have won the match.